thing, like getting my why sorted, getting my three-step invite, like just getting that whole confidence around doing the invite, making up my list. Yep. So I want to be able to do the invites and kind of move them through the process because I'm losing them in the initial stages. How, how do you think you're losing them? Well, we've set up a few three ways yep. and they haven't gone anywhere. No, they don't even respond, which is... No, no. So they obviously need more information from yeah. me in the startup. Just, yeah, just remember three things you've got to tell them. No more than three things because then they get confused and they've already got it made up in their head that it's going to be a bit, bit hard, a bit much, especially if they're other networkers and things like that. Just always remember that. Um, it's going to be a lot better very, very soon in NZ with travel parties and everything coming on board. Um, when it gets launched, it is going to be a lot easier for you. I'll, I'll say yeah. that straight up. That's, that's a definite. Cool. It's um, something that I've been, I'll be honest, I've been talking to a lot of people in New Zealand and I seem to be talking to everyone in New Zealand who's got no money. <laughs> <laughs> and I still use the practice of videos for dealing with objections for no money. I still put them through that. I've got seven on my list now that are keen as to do it. They're saving for the money. Yeah. Whether they get yeah. it or not, because I've turned it around using the script for objections. You've seen the objections video in the I8. I've, I've used that, and that's why I've been able to turn around the conversation. If they disappear, they disappear. So be it. Um, but if they come back, it's good you're getting into the training. But to give you more confidence, that's definitely um, with New Zealand launching. I think it's like next week or something. Um, I haven't got a definite on it yet either. That's, that's something I haven't got a definite on. Okay. That's same with everyone. If you know anyone in New Zealand, please put them at the top of your list. Top of the list, let me know um, in your conversation, especially Maxine. One thing you can say to them say, This is about to launch in New Zealand, and we're looking for leaders in New Zealand because it plays on yeah. their ego a little bit, it plays on their they want to be noticed. But if they're other networkers and that, of course, they want to be like the first ones there and all that, even though you guys have already signed up. But the official launch, a good line to use on it. So they you just want to be we we're looking for leaders in New Zealand. You've got in early, this is to get in ground floor. Just like they did with Nirium. Same shit. Better company, but just quietly. Actually it's fucking loud. <laughs> Choice bro. Choice bro. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go to I don't know what Riddler's doing in there. I don't know if he's in his cave or his kitchen. Thank thank you, Maxine. Um Dave Leon, you are on fire, brother. Like seriously. Um I I want you to just touch on how you've been feeling the last couple of weeks. That's simple as that. Just how you've been feeling. Oh, amazing. Just uh, every day keeps getting better and better. The smile just keeps growing, mate. Keeps growing. No, it's good, man. And um, consistency, we spoke about this. Consistency has been huge, yeah? Massive. So, yeah, at the start it felt like an obligation, but as time's gone on, I've got more confidence in what I'm doing and it's my, my why it just keeps going. Keeps me pushing, pushing me through. So, yeah. Every day I'm learning new things and working out the puzzle in my own head, which is, um, which I've had direction for a long time. So at least I've got my direction, drive, yeah, and the passion to succeed. So, nah, yeah, I'm cool. happy as very happy. Yeah. It's cool, and and like what I've come to know, especially with this company, is everyone goes at their own pace. Not everyone is a million miles an hour like me, and all that sort of stuff and here, there and everywhere. Not everyone's like that. It's taken a lot for me to learn that everyone is so, so different and this journey is different for everyone. Um, and the key thing that Dave mentioned there, which was old Brat, he mentioned is he doesn't feel obligated anymore. Like he's doing a lot of the mindset and that. But I know a lot of you guys and even myself, when we've got to get on calls with the, the TNL calls, I feel obligated because I'm going to let them down. Or like if you guys want to miss out on this, you feel like you're going to let me down. Which is cool, I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, you're all in this for you guys. You're all in it for you, your why, your journey. So if you're serious about it, no matter if you're doing it an hour a week, 10 hours a week, whatever it is, it's you. You've got to see that. And if you can't see that, that's why you be consistent. So you do the simple little things. Just get good at the simple little things. Definitely not one to procrastinate and things like that. There's a fine line. But like what Dave said now, you can, you can see he's... Um, his energy is ridiculous. I've actually been feeding it off for the last couple of days and it's been fantastic. <laughs> and it's just been showing up consistently yeah. and doing the little basics. Um, I'm going to lead into Lee now. Cheers, Dave. That's awesome. Same as Lee um, with the mindset and stuff. 
an interesting camera angle you got there, man. It looks like one of them funny cameras <laughs> at the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's been the last two weeks have been epic. Um, just like you said, consistency and consistently showing up. And it's probably been even better because, like, both Dave and I have been getting really stuck in. So we've probably been feeding off each other, doing it a bit as well, which has made it even easier. Yeah. And um, def- definitely changing a lot of things massively internally, which is awesome. Yeah. No, and that's, that's, that's key. And just for you guys that are watching the recording or Maxine and that, um, we've got the mindset group that anyone can go in there, but it's committed to daily accountability and the consistency and Lee and um, Dave, even Kyle and Grant to some respect, because you guys are on, you are consistent with showing up all this, you're getting the benefit out of it. What you, how much you show up, you're actually getting the same sort of benefit out of it. Might be in the actual result of sign-ups or things like that, but you're feeling, you're feeling it. Um, and leading to Kyle there, because Kyle, man, I'm wrapped you're on here, dude. I really am. Um, I, I actually understand no matter what's going on in your mind or life, I actually understand a lot more about where you're at um, and how you're pushing. I do. And just, just know that, man. Just know that. Because um, you are. You're ridiculously honest, which it goes to the point where you're too hard on yourself. I'll tell you that. I'll keep telling you that. Um, but, man, I just appreciate you being on here, seriously. Um, and just showing up and just taking a bit in. Like some of your output, I, for me, social media is the way I connect with all you guys. Unless I'm on calls or whatever. And when, I don't know if you guys have seen some of Kyle's posts, they're bang on. They're not getting the, the interaction they deserve. They're not getting the, the um, yeah, like I say, the interaction they deserve or the comments they deserve yet. That's what I want to say. It's, um, but Kyle, man, you've, you've got it in there and you're doing it. I just want you to keep showing up to, to the best of your ability with a very, very limited time you've got. That's, that's what I want you to do. It's, um, and you are doing it, man. Yeah, cool. Cheers, man. No, likewise, I appreciate um, yeah, you jumping on, putting your time into it as well, because I definitely take massive value um, and have ever since I've kind of been involved in this group. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool, man. And like I say, we'll have that call in the next couple of days. Um, I'm not going to keep everyone too long on this. I'm going to rock out something in about five minutes. I'll scare a couple of people about how I'm going to roll tonight. Where's the Riddler? What are you making there, Riddler? Oh, I'm just fixing some tools up for work tomorrow and drilling a few holes in my arcade cabinet. <laughs> I had to smack the <laughs> drill. It was playing up. You, you, stop. Put it down. Just for fucking one minute. Put it down. Put it down. Be present. I really want you to go out and get the book, the audio book, video footage or something. Of the power of now. Did yeah, right. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I think you told me last week. Yeah, you <laughs> You need to <laughs> find it and just make time somewhere in your busy schedule as well. Lee, you'll, you'll understand why I push you to focus on one thing at a time then. It'll give you a good understanding. I've been thinking about what to, to give you to do without me telling you. Because um, you, you're doing it a bit, you're doing it a bit, and then you go and hold a drill on my fucking live feed. <laughs> <laughs> I, know yeah, you, I know you're squeezing everything in and all that, and you've been creative, but that's, that's, you know, that's what you've got to do. So the power of now, my friend. How'd you go? I've got to ask, how'd you go? You got some cool interaction on someone else's post. You know, that one we were doing the sneaky little comments on? Did you message them, guys? Yeah, I added him, the Goro fella. Yeah. Um, he, he was with World Ventures already, um, and he only went in for the product. Yep. And he said he had some trouble with um, getting refunds and stuff like that yep. on the airfares. So. Yeah, he doesn't use it anymore. So that's, that's the getting in. Yeah. Yeah, and the other guy, he was in World Ventures as well. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, because as soon as that's, and that's something I do, I, I get sneaky like that. When I see a comment like that, someone like focusing on the yeah. problems with jet scale or something, then you are straight onto it too. But then I see the comments and I'm like, bang, I go look straight at their, um, their page. And I knew one of the guys was in World Ventures. 
Um, yeah, yeah, one of had a mutual mate with yeah. Sloggett. So I was like, yeah, yeah. you're a boy venture for sure. Yeah. But that guy that's got a grievance now, I know you've hit him up. I'm going to hit him up too. I don't know. He's come back and goes, he didn't like it or whatever. They're still not gone. Um, they're still not gone. Um, I had a good chat with Michael yesterday about how else I can go with people who are uh, objecting in that. And it's something that, that he does. And I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. And I had a really, really good chat to Michael yesterday. It was, it's been really hard to get him on the phone, being Anzac Day weekend and everything. And with his connection with um, the armed services and all that sort of stuff. But I did get a quick call with him. And, and just to, to let you all know what we've been talking about here, doing the basics, doing that. And that was his message. And we all seen Michael. He's like, go hard, go hard, go hard, which is cool. He's like, right now, everyone is just saying, go back to basics. He's been working closely with Shane Anderson, coming back from United. The basics, um, that's it's key. And it's what I keep saying over and over, true. It's um, get the basics right. The, the little things like Maxine started with, go into the I-8, go through the trainings and all that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more trainings coming out soon. I'm going to do some digging. Um, it's another thing I asked him about with this smart card coming out. Um, that's cool as I asked him how I'm me- how we're meant to communicate it. There's no specific way to communicate it yet. He goes, the product is good enough um, because he doesn't want us getting sidetracked, but it's there. Just it can drop it in. You'll see what I'm doing with some Facebook posts just with the emojis. I've changed the TNL to ever from all airplanes. I put the little credit card thing in there every now and then. Simple stuff like that for me. That's like a little subliminal message. Just things like that. It's um. It's one of them things that's going to evolve with the card. Um, whether they interlink it with the launch in New Zealand, I'm not sure. They didn't talk about it as you would have seen it um, at Momentum. They didn't talk about it. I know one of the nights you were at Kyle Leon, they mentioned the card. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, especially you two money men, Dave and um, Lee. <laughs> Once we find out more about that, I know you're going you're gonna to interlink that really well. Same as you, Grant. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work really well. Now, what I wanted to talk about now is, realistically, I've been talking about the basics and everything like that. Um, I just wanted to go in. You don't have to take notes or anything. It's like talking to people or being confident in yourself. Because this all comes back to what you touched on, Maxine, your why. I put a little post up about a part of my why tonight. You're going to see little bits and pieces of more of my why. My why is fucking massive. Actually, like I've been, I've been going deep on that as well, like Dave mentioned, going back to it. I know Kyle, you've got a strong one. Lee, you've got a strong one. Grant, you've all got strong wires. Um, But having that to remind you when you are going to conversations, when you are making a list, when you are getting objections, when you are maybe afraid to talk to that person who you might think is like, well, they're in business already. They don't need this. You've got to somehow implant that why in the forefront of your mind so, so it hurts you or something like that if you don't do it. So you get upset if you don't go through with that conversation. So, so when you are getting that objection, you're losing confidence in yourself to, to communicate it properly and you're stuttering and mumbling, that why pops up and slams you in the head and you're like, no, fuck this, I've got to do this. Now, there's ways we can do this, guys. There's ways we can do it apart from thinking about it after and getting like all down and sad with ourselves and going, oh, fuck, I should have done that. I've got, I've got to do it better next time, which is okay, but why not do it in the first place? So much stuff that I've been going into lately, um, not to do with network marketing, just about personal, self-confidence, self-belief, about, about why, why do we pull back, where, where fear comes from, all that sort of stuff. Everything that comes back, it's just a simple one. What, what, what happens if you don't do it? What happens if we've got a week left and you had that in your head? I've got a week to get my why to achieve this. So I've got to talk to 100 people, not, not three. It takes out that gap where you've got to think. It takes out that gap where you're going to be like, oh, shit, I don't know. They're, they're going to do this. They're going to say that. You've really got to do certain things to get that why right here so you're not. And, and like simple things. Like, I don't know if you guys have got vision boards. Vision boards. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool idea. It is. I'll be honest. I don't have vision boards. I've got a shitload of pictures. I've got my notes I take every morning. Like I say, I share stuff on Facebook. Facebook, social media is a good outlet. It's a good reminder. So some of the stuff I put on Facebook is some of the stuff that's in here. I get it out and I see it. If 100 people like it, I see it 100 times. So if you've got something, say you get up in the morning and you've got like a picture in your room or you've got your vision board, 
Have it there so you just look at it every day, guys. It's like showing up for the mindset, the daily stuff. The more you repeat it, the more you do it, the more you remember it. So if you've got a picture or pictures or something on your, your phone, your phone, show you, I'll show you my phone. That's it'll work. <laughs> I'll see. There's mine. Because that's a big part of my why. That, that links into stuff I've got written around relationships and family and, and having that life. You've got to look at stuff every day, not once a day, so many times, repeat it over and over. Because do you know what happens in here when we see stuff? Like the way our head works, it like files, memories and all that, but everything's pictures in there, everything. You think about it, you close your eyes and you think of a memory or you visualise what you want. It's a picture, isn't it? The mind, the mind interprets it. It's a picture. So if you've got stuff yeah. everywhere, like Grant's going to drill stuff all over his house now. I know that. <laughs> but something to do with your big picture, your why, what you want your life with, the more places you can put it, have it in a book, have it on a coffee mug, whatever, whatever works for you so you're going to see it the most. I know what um, Tanya does on her phone and it's awesome. Like we've got Google Calendar. She's got affirmations of what she wants her life to look like that come up at certain times during the day, every day. That's pretty I'm cool. in the process of actually looking at, for my dream home and getting what it's worth and the offers and all that on it. The bit of a history on that house and just having that. Anything to remind somewhere you. Yeah. And this is like anything to, your remind, to remind you. It can be a picture of your family, guys. It can. It can be that. But have it linked for you to know that's what I'm doing this for. You've already got that already. But the more you see it, this is my point here. The more you see it, the more you'll know it, the more you'll feel it, the more it's smack bang there. When you get tested, when you get times where you've got to push that extra bit, where you've got to get out of your comfort zone, where you've got to take an objection or 10 or 20 or whatever it is, have it so it's just like fucking bang there. And like, no, I've just got to do something a little different now. I've just got to push harder. I've got to drop everything and say, well, fuck, maybe I am desperate. You know what? That, that's something that I've learned is they talk about being open and honest with your situation. Like lately, and Dave, you know this, Grant, you know this, like what I am like financially, holy shit. It's, it's not the best. I've got massive plans. I've been working my ass off, but I keep a lot of that away. But for me to move forward, that's a massive part of my why is financial. So I share a lot more in my conversations. I used to never do it because I didn't want to come across desperate to scare people off to think that I was not a good leader. I was not good at this business. That's fucking stupid. I am desperate to make this good. I am desperate to make money. I am desperate to help others make money. I am desperate to help others be successful. So you get my drift there with myself. We get that. We think of it because we're starting here. If we've got no one on, we're going to think, well, fuck. They're not going to respect me. I can't, I can't let them know that I haven't got a team. I can't let them know that I haven't got anyone yet because then they're going to just doubt me and say, no, nah, no, nah, you're not the right person. But how do you know? It's stuff we're telling ourselves before it happens. I'm massively guilty of these guys. <laughs> I am because I don't want to be found out. Found out for what? Telling the truth? It goes back to what we learned, Maxine, at um, Momentum, our truth is good enough. It is. Our truth is good enough. So I go back to it. If you've got your why, you've got pictures, everything that reminds me 10, 20, 30, 50 times a day, goal, whatever. It doesn't have to be why goals, that, the goal you want. It can be a fucking picture of a boat. I know when I look back, before I even knew all this stuff, and it's crazy, and I bet you've got stories of this too. Before I even knew all this stuff about mindset and that, I wanted a boat. I wanted a really fast boat. I wanted a black boat that was faster than any other boat. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I was earning $1,000 a week. The boat cost like $45,000. I didn't know. But you know what? I had magazines that showed me every day. I'd read them at work. Fuck, I want that. I want that. Everything I did, I was looking at it all the time. I was going to boat deals and I had no money in the bank and looking at the boat. Yeah, awesome, Kyle. I appreciate you being on, brother. I really do. Have a good one, man.
Kyle is a crazy, crazy busy man. Young family, lots and lots and lots going on. But you get my drift. When with this simple thing with this boat, and I, I keep looking back at it, and I wanted it so bad, I didn't earn the money. I started talking to people. Can I borrow money to get this? I was talking to my old man. My old man's going, I'm never letting you money again. I got the boat in 12 months. I borrowed money off my dad. I did certain things at work. I saved money. I made all this stuff happen that I couldn't imagine. And it was just by simply visualizing it every day, by wanting it more. Every time I'd be going out to get on the piss or something, I'd like, oh, actually, no, I'm not going to do it this week. And I had a major drinking problem back then too. That's why it made it even more powerful for me. So if you really, really want something, you've got to be able to see it all the time. You'll be able to feel it. The more you see it, the more you feel it, the more you want it. The more you want it, the more you're going to do. The more you're going to drop any excuses, the more you're going to show up. And, and what a lot of people don't grasp with it is because we haven't got it yet. We don't know if this works. We don't know. So why not do something different? Why not go that extra yard? Cool. I love some feedback now. You can tell I'm in the zone. I'm like, the last couple of days, I've been just like on fire. Dave's got a, a massive lot to do with it. And a lot of people around me I have, but this is how I roll. This is like, Grant will even tell you, I'm probably back to where I was like six or eight months ago. And it's taken me a bit, guys. But it's been a lot of self-belief, like with myself too. There's, it's been a lot, a lot of self-confidence. That's always going to happen there. There's a lot of self-doubt. But I know I've got to do the work. And everyone else is the same. We've got to do the work. I know Grant's itching to say something. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. It's like that or you're you down, right? You are, um, <laughs> you are back to yourself, I guess. Um, even more so when you come back from Peru, you're going to fucking mail our screens, I'm sure of it. <laughs> That's the plan. But I'll, I'm going there, and this is a big point with that too. Personal growth, personal development. I, own, I not only do I do it for me, yes, but contributions massive for me. I'd like to help you guys to pass on whatever knowledge I learn. That that's key for me. That's why I do this stuff. It's a huge reason. Like contributions, a big reason me and Tanya are together because contributions number one on our list. Personal growth, not for ourselves to keep it all to ourselves. And let's hey, let's just talk to each other about it. No. We want to work with the tens of thousands of people. We want to get on stage. The only way we can do that is by helping, helping you guys at the bottom, helping you guys wherever you are. We know that and we love that. So the Peru thing, um, I'm disappearing for like two weeks too. I might come back, but <laughs> it's so I can come back and share whatever it is that's going to help you guys. What else? Yeah, great, great post, Steve. And I really get your energy. And I don't think you're back where you were six months ago. I think you're energetic, but you are very... Grounded? Purposeful. Yeah, you're much more grounded. You're purposeful. You're focused. Yeah. You're in love. Oh, <laughs> this is, is an interruption on the line here. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I'm glad that that's what you picked up from this. Just ha don't have that in your mind when you're going into conversations, because that's my why. <laughs> No, it's cool. It's cool. And like I say, I just wanted a, a short interaction. And I, I've been like still sussing out how to roll with these, like roll our mindset and all that. But this is this is what I did. Grant would have seen this in beast mode. This is what I used to roll like this for like an hour and 20 minutes in beast mode. And I'm pretty sure I used to annoy the shit out of people. But I'm, I know I'm positive that people got a lot from it. So anything, guys, I so encourage you to just put it in the group. I really do. It helps me help you. Um, I, I still don't, when I started this, I didn't want to overload the group with simple stuff like in the isogenics groups and that, where they just post heaps of stuff and you, you get caught up in it. I still don't want this group to go that way. One thing I did post, the dream trip, the mega trip. Me and Dave have been talking about this. Uh, me and Grant are talking about this. I know there's a lot on. Momentum is huge. Momentum is massive. That's number one priority, guys. Um, Grant, Maxine, you're going there? Um, yeah, yeah, of course you are. You're like events queen. This is, that might be your new team nickname. <laughs> but don't you mean boot camp? That's what I meant. We've already been in momentum. That next, I've got it in my mind. Same thing. 
me. I don't. I can't do it all. This is what you, everyone's got to understand. This is why it's a team game. But that is key. But the mega trip, the mega trip. If there's one thing you're going to use points on this year, the one thing because we've all got points growing with our memberships. Why not make it the mega trip? It's on the Gold Coast. The flights will be cheap if you get in early. It mightn't be the most exciting place. Like I said, I know me and Grant have had a chat about this, but here's the thing. World Ventures books a whole place out with people from around the world. We in Australia mightn't rate this place even close to as highly as the Americans that come across. Even maybe the Kiwis a little bit. Even people from Europe. People from Asia, they're going to fill this place up. What an amazing place just to connect with people around the world. That's, that's the way I see this. It's absolutely. Because this is the fun thing. This is the fun. What if we go traveling? What if we do, which I bloody hope you're in this for that fact, you go traveling around the world. You've met these people at this mega trip. You go over there, you might go on a dream trip, but you might become friends. Who knows what's in their network? Who knows what else they do that you might like? Who knows? These could become best friends. I see this as a massive, massive, massive opportunity just to get a feel for the company. See, I can, I can yep. suggest things for you to do. I can. Like, Dream Trips Local is huge. It's, it's getting bigger. Um, I so hope it blows up in New Zealand because um, I might even fly over there just to have dinner and stuff. But... Even getting it to Albury Lee, I've been talking to people, trust me. <laughs> Even more here in Cairns. I see a new hotels come on for a dream trip in Cairns, which is fantastic. But to use the product, I see this mega trip as massive because it's going to be filled with World Ventures people from around the world. There's going to be bloody 300 signs, little blue signs, posted all over Facebook. It's okay us doing the little blue sign, but imagine 300 blue signs and you're there with these people. Number one, yeah, you're they're going to say, head in there. the biggest cult we've ever seen on social media. Hmm. That's half of them. The other half are going to be like, wow, we, we didn't know what this was. What is all this people? What you've booked out a whole thing? They're just going to ask questions. Then the whole interaction, instead of us going to people, they're going to hit you up. That's, that's the way that works. So I really, really want you to look at it. Um, when is that? Is that August, I think? I've got to have a look at the dates. I've got so many dates yeah. and things over the next few months. Um, it'll probably all get wiped when I go bloody Peru, but oh well, I'll write it down. But with the product, guys, you've got the points. You're you paying for the points. Why not utilize it on something like that close to home that's going to actually, it will boost your business. It will. Great. Lock it in. I'm in. Davo's in, of course he is. <laughs> Love it. Throw some questions at me about that. If you've got any. No, I yeah, how many... Sorry. No, yeah. go on. I was just going to say, how many people have you got confirmed for boot camp? Um, me, you, and Maxine. Okay. What about you, Lee? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wants to go. He said we're going. If, if cool. you need a hand with anything, Lee, let me know. This is this is what I say to everyone. Let me know. Like I say, I'm so I, I am more than willing to sort out accommodation, but I need to know early. I do need. To know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm pretty sure she said we're going. Cool. Because because the other thing I want I want to be able to do is show our team. Like, do you see how they do the posts in one of the group where they go, "I'll oh, confirm for you it." I really want to get you guys once he's committed. Get you into the group. Because it shows the rest of the company too. These guys are committed. They're serious. And I think that's really, really important. I do. Oh. Siri's listening. <laughs> are you coming to boot camp, Siri? When's the boot camp in... <laughs> Siri's li- <laughs> Um, July, isn't it? Start of July? I see her if you work for the CIA. Oh, there's one yeah, boot camp is the 14th, 13th of July or 14th of July to 16th of July. Yep, cool. Perfect. I'll, um, I'll do some, what's the name, that little message group, I'll put some info in there again. Um, like I say, I got my tickets. 
And it's something to keep in mind too. There is a bonus going at the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure now, if you get one person on, you get, I'm pretty sure you either get a free event ticket or half price of the event ticket. Because I'm pretty sure that's a couple of hundred bucks, yeah? Or it might even be like, I got the VIP ticket. It costs like $400 or something. But I got a discount off that because I secured points for getting people involved. There's all these little bonuses that, that we don't know about because we haven't got them on and they surprise you with them. Like momentum I got for half price. So just keep that in mind too. There is a, there is a, um, a thing going that they released at United where you get one person on. I don't know if it's half price the ticket. It might even be free. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out for you. Um, which is really, really cool because they really, they really understand the power of events. I understand the power of events. We all, if we've been to events, even the little networking ones you've been going to, Dave, you get the power of that energy in the room. Um, so boot camp's all about that. Um, and it's about personal growth too. Boot camp. Boot Valley, yeah. Yeah, boot camp, as you would have seen, Maxine, they spoke about it at um, Momentum. Um, it's a lot more personal development. It really is. If, if it can get any more like, because moment, Momentum was pretty bloody cool. Cool? Cool. All right, well, I am going to rock and roll now because I promised um, Tony I'd be half an hour, and I'm pretty bloody close for once. Pretty bloody close. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys and Kyle jumping on, and um, anyone who watches the recording, please, please, please comment in the group. I really, really... Shouldn't have to chase his up. <laughs> um, he should be chasing me up and annoying me. Um, but I appreciate you guys being on. Any questions, hit me up. Grant, go back to work. Um, keep drilling whatever you were drilling. <laughs> I wonder if you were like Noah in a past life and you built an ark. Because he's always I'll doing build. shit. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me busy. No, it's good, man. It's good. And, and you know what? This is what it's about too. Like um, we talk about it, all these passions we've got and all these things. We want to create that life so we can do this more instead of doing it after hours, instead of doing it like when we're squashed for time. Oh, look out. Why have I? Hey, hey, Chi Chi. I told her 8 o'clock. Hey, David. I told her 8 o'clock and look what time she rolls up. Can we swap? We'll get Chi Chi and you leave, steve I can go and she can tell you about what you get. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking weird. <laughs> Hello. I don't know any guys. Do you know you know the Riddler, Grant? You know yeah. Maxine? Yeah. Maxine's a fellow Kiwi. Oh really? Where are you from? I'm at Mount Monganui. Oh, ah, that's the photo. That's where a mate of mine, there. Hayden, is at the moment. He's actually going to be Hey, Hayden. Who? Hayden Roxburg. He just moved there. Ah. Yeah. Steve showed me a photo yesterday, and he's like, "Do you know where this is in New Zealand?" And I was like, "That's Mount Monganui. Duh. <laughs> I love it there." Mm. We're we're actually going to New Zealand in August, so look out. Or maybe I, I just cold. saw that there's a vent on next month with Tony Robbins, and you can meet him for two thousand dollars. Well, you better get to, <laughs> you better get to work <laughs> and start doing some world ventures work and training and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, if, if I, if my incentive is meeting Tony Robbins, I will fucking do any world what? ventures. I'm not good enough. I won't become a prostitute, but I'll do world ventures. <laughs> hey, Steve, I just turn. See what happened? I was winding this up. Now I can't get in trouble for going over time. I think Grant Steve. wants to say something. Yeah. Yeah, I think Lee and Amy are going to go see Tony Robbins in Melbourne. It only costs like 150 bucks or something. 190 and Dave's coming as well. well oh, yeah. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Is this National Achievers Congress? Well, it's not you. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, there's a whole heap of people talking at it. One in Sydney, one in Melbourne? There's a... Yeah. Come it's a two-day thing Come with a heap of different... <laughs> I was looking at David. <laughs> sorry, hi. <laughs> I just, sorry, I just made myself laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, yeah, because he's doing um, Dave, 
I think he's doing a few things. He's doing Date with Destiny uh, in Gold Coast, but I'm pretty sure that's like six. That's quite expensive. That's like a few grand. But yeah, but this is the only one he's doing in Melbourne. Is this this yeah. conference thing? I think. Yeah, it's with a group of other entrepreneurs. And when's that? That's people. second week of um, May, yeah. Fifteenth and sixteenth. Perfect. Yeah, it's sixteenth and seventeenth, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The cheapest still gets seventy nine dollars. Yeah, but there's yeah, there's seventy nine of them we're getting a hundred and I think the hundred and ninety, isn't that the gold ticket or whatever? Yeah. There's like a yeah, I've just been looking at it now, there's a few and <clears throat> this one sick. And if you go up to two grand you get to meet Tony Robin. See 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 what she <laughs> I do trainings and she goes and looks at ways to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not <laughs> what, what, I, what I will say with any of this stuff internet, yeah. yeah what I will say with any of this stuff especially Lee um, you and Amy going to Tony Robbins take in as much as you can but just apply it like so, seriously yeah. apply it <clears throat> like well, anything we learn guys but you can't see Tony mm. not apply stuff so don't, you don't even need to tell them that cause he'll be yeah like, I do because it, it links in with everything we do guys seriously it, it does anything and everything, any event we go to, like I've still got my book there from Momentum. I've got so many notes in there. That's what I refer back to all the time. I don't understand half the shit I wrote down, but I wrote a lot down. And what I do understand, I put into action. Just like anything, if you're watching videos and that, like we've been watching a lot of stuff with Tony Robbins lately. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, see, oh this is this, this year, yeah, it's been recorded. Maybe we should share this in our other group. <laughs> but anyway. What other group? Oh, our program, our course. Yeah. No. What, what, what do you think now, guys? Now that you're hanging on for an extra... I, I, I round this up. I'm going away for two weeks. Should she take over? No! What the <laughs> fuck? I don't even know what I'm doing. I've messaged like so, three so people. So how, how will you know what to do? How do you get to that point? Sure. You might get more on. Yeah, well. <laughs> actually, this is the first time she's <laughs> around the house without a bikini on, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. We live in Cairns, all right? Mm. Gee, what am I supposed to Well, wear? Grant doesn't walk around the house with a bikini on, so... Well, maybe he should. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Oh uh, goodness! Well, I we Matt, are we a, we are going to round this up now. Matt, get a man, Kenny Grant. Oh, no. Like for it. Here I am. Do you know what <laughs> I was just talking to him about before about putting pictures around the house because everything we see is pictures in our heads. Now I've got an image of Grant and a fucking man, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, that even scares me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no, nah, but that that Thanks is why go away, <laughs> TT. You've just destroyed Sorry. this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But this is what it's about, guys. It's a bit of fun. It's it's cool. Um, this is why I like these interactions. Um, but the stuff I was talking about, about seeing your why or your picture or your goals everywhere, put that into action, seriously. That that will help you have more conversations. That will force you to have more conversations by default. Because you don't want to look at that for the next 20 years. You only want to look at them pictures for the next 12 months, 18 months, two years. Otherwise, them pictures are going to do your heading. <laughs> True? Yeah. Mm. And as you go on and, like, stuff happens, it all, like, evolves and changes so much. Like, yeah. like the, the mentor that I've been following for the last 12 months, which has been amazing, I won't say who it is, I had been, like, obsessed with this person doing everything that she was releasing. And now I've, like, completely followed her. With with now she has pictures of me. Posted all around the room, so everything that you want <laughs> changes all the But you've time. already got that. Yeah, and it, but it doesn't even matter though. Like some people are like, I don't know, I don't know what I want, and what if this isn't what I want? But you just get an idea of what it is that you want to give you that initial motivation. Then it's like boom, and you make fucking progress. As long as you're moving in some direction, because you're gonna learn as you go along anyway. The point is to not be like stale and get stuck and be just like not getting anywhere. I've got to know how to get you motivated now for a screen in front of your nowhere. face. 
So, I don't know. This is good. This is good. She's been laying around for the last three weeks and she gets a screen in front of her face. She's like, boom. <laughs> I've not been blown <laughs> We created the Harmonious Balance Workshop, okay? We did. Yeah. I'm going to go now because we have to have words. Yum. Sorry. And these guys have listened too long now. We've listened <laughs> Sorry. Now. We wound that up 15 minutes ago. But now, guys, again, I appreciate you being on. Um, you're consistent. Awesome to have you on over there, Maxine. I know it's a lot later. Um, any questions in the group? Put it to 11 years. Yeah. Commitment. And that's what this is about. Anyway, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank you. I might roll out a See little special. See your bikini. Oh, no. <laughs> the red line. Keep an eye on the group too. Long. I'm out something before I go to Peru for you. Cool? Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. That's See good. you later. Bye, guys.